this review is of the Keto Coffee Bamboo, um, I guess you would call that laminated bamboo covered travel mug. Now clearly it says Keto Coffee on it, but I'm a tea person so I want to show you how to make tea in this because I'm not a coffee drinker. Um, this is the infuser part. It's not super large. In fact, this is sort of the normal kind of infuser that you get in a mug that's made for brewing tea. And as you can see, the top part of that is pretty much identical. So it's almost as if they just decided not to use this big sort of infuser. And that's okay. We can still make a decent cup with this. The tea just doesn't have quite as much room to move around. So this goes in there and just pushes straight in. Uh, it's pretty snug. I can pick the whole thing up by that handle. This is what it looks like when it's in there. If you are making loose leaf tea in this, you want to put the tea on top and we'll do that in a second. Then when you fill it up, you don't want it to go past the top of that little infuser basket. The reason for that is, and I've learned this the hard way, if the tea is floating that much higher than the infuser basket, the leaves will float out of the infuser. When you pull it out, you won't get them all, and then you'll have tea leaves in your drink. Trust me. It, all com it also comes with this, which is, um, it's a scooper. It's actually, you know, it's a funny thing. It, it's the standard size that we use for tea, but it's bigger than a teaspoon. This is more like a teaspoon and a half, but it's the perfect size for this size tumbler, which incidentally I measured and it keeps, I believe it was 13 ounces when it's to the top of the infuser basket. So I have some loose leaf tea here. This is a hot brew we're doing. We're just going to pour it right there on top. And you can see it really fills that right up. I'm going to make sure and pull the little handle up so that I don't burn my fingers later. And then I'm just going to slowly pour this. Um, you kind of have to be slow because it'll want to, in fact, I'll just move this and show you a little more. When you pour the water in, it'll want to make that leaf float because it has to go through the sieve on the filter. So just being real careful here. And then all of a sudden it's going to be full and I don't want to overfill it. I think we're getting kind of close. Yep, okay, right there. Set my timer. This is going to steep for three minutes. Um, and while it's steeping, I just want to tell you another thing, and that is it's really hot right now. It's a good time to cold brew some tea. And the nice thing about cold brewing is you can leave it in the mug, put the cold water in it, and then you don't have to take it out. Hot water extracts more from the tea leaves, so you do want to take it out when it's hot water. But I've been cold brewing a lot this summer, and all I do with one of these mugs is pull the thingy out, pour the leaf in the main part, fill it up with water, or put this back in first, it doesn't matter. But then after you fill it up with water, that filter part acts as a barrier and keeps you from getting the tea leaves in your mouth. So I'm just going to pause the video for a moment, and I'll come back with you when the tea has finished steeping, about two more minutes. Here's a pause. So here we are, we're back. Timer's about to go off. I did put the lid on here just to keep it a little bit hotter in there. A lot of the heat will escape as it's steeping. Okay. And also you can see that the lid is very attractive with that bamboo pattern and the stainless finish around the edges. So remember we kept the water low enough so we can reach in there and pull this out with no issues. I'm just going to let it drip for a second. You know, it does look like the tea expanded a bit. Obviously not as much as if it had, had free range of movement. And I wanted to pour it out here so we could get an idea of 
well, you know, it's pretty dark, so chances are we got a good steep. This is, I always, always use the same tea when I test these tea tumblers, so I'm just going to taste it and see. It's nice. It's not quite as strong as it would have been with a bigger uh, filter mechanism, but hey, I would drink that any day of the week. So there you go. This is the keto coffee. Um, oh, one more thing. If you are like at home, you can take this and set it off to the side and brew it again later. If you're out somewhere and you just want to toss your leaves, just toss them out and then stick that back in there. Put this on and you're all set to go. I do always like to test and see if these drip. So let me get a paper towel. Let's check it out. Maybe I can do this without hitting the video camera. So here we go. No drips. I would feel very comfortable putting that in a book bag or a purse or anything like that because there's absolutely nothing on the paper towel. Thanks for watching.